Here's a really cool way to use zoom regions in Articulate Storyline to create a panning effect. Let me go ahead and play this example for you. On this slide, we zoom in on a particular region, and then rather than zoom right back out again, we pan to a different location, and then to another, and then to another, and then we zoom back out. Well, this panning effect is really easy to do. All this is is multiple zoom regions placed one right after the other on your slide's timeline. This is what it looks like in Articulate Storyline. Here's my slide, and down here in the timeline, you'll see the zoom regions are gonna be listed first in your list of objects on the timeline. So here's my zoom region for Seattle, here's the one for Phoenix, here's Madison, and here's Ann Arbor. And you'll notice that I've positioned these zoom regions one right after the other on the timeline. There's no gap or space in between them. And that's why the zoom never backs out to the full view of the slide. The view just transitions from the end of one zoom to the beginning of the next. So let's take a second here. I'm gonna to jump to a different copy of this same slide. And this one doesn't have any zoom regions yet. And we're gonna rebuild that panning effect so that you can see how easy it is. So first thing is we wanna get our zoom regions inserted on our slide. So on the insert tab, I'm gonna choose zoom region and we're just gonna resize and move this zoom region so that this one's gonna to apply to Ann Arbor. And then we'll add another one that we're gonna use for Madison. So we'll resize and reposition. And then we'll add another one here for Phoenix. Put that one in place right about there. And then one more for Seattle. And once we've positioned our zoom regions on the slide, then we'll wanna go down to our timeline and take a look at the timing. So here's the zoom for number four, that's the Ann Arbor zoom. And I really don't want it to be scrunched up like this. Um, you'll see that these are the other zoom regions and they're happening very quickly. We don't want this timing to look like this. So what I'm gonna do is drag zoom four, which is for Ann Arbor, all the way out to the nine second mark. Cause I've got some other items on my slide that are appearing at that time as call outs. And I want this zoom to coincide with those items. They happen to be right here and my zoom is then going to start at the same time at nine seconds and then stretch the duration so that it zooms back out at 12 seconds so that takes care of that one now let's select this other one it's so small right now that we have to stretch it out just to see it so there's zoom three for madison i'm going to drag that one so that the end of that zoom happens right at the beginning of the next zoom and i'm going to actually tighten that up a little bit so it starts at seven seconds to coincide with this group right here, which is the callouts that pertain to the Madison area. Okay, and now we'll do the same for the others. I'm gonna stretch this one out, move it right up to zoom three, and we'll tighten up the timeline a little bit so it starts at five seconds, and then here's the one for Seattle. Stretch it out a little bit, and we'll put it right up to the beginning of zoom two, and we'll start it at three seconds. And that's really all we need to do, so let's go ahead and preview this and we'll see how it looks. What we should see is a few seconds into the slide, we should zoom in on Seattle, and then we'll pan to Phoenix, and then we'll pan to Madison, and then we'll pan to Ann Arbor, and then we'll zoom back out. So there you go, panning is a really simple and creative way to leverage zoom regions, not to mention the fact that it's a great way to make your course feel more alive and get your learner focusing on just the right things. So have fun experimenting with zooming and panning in your Articulate Storyline projects.